Hello Virgo. So many thanks to everyone for subscribing to the channel, following and commenting. I do love hearing back from all of you. For those of you that are new, hopefully you enjoy the channel and hopefully there is some information here that helps you with your journey. Let's see here. So I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, and I have asked that each of you receives at least one message. We are pulling today from Doreen Virtue's Fairy Tarot cards, as well as her Saints and Angels cards. And we're gonna also be pulling from Kyle Gray's Angel Answers, no, Angel Prayers <laughs> deck. And then um, we are going to pull a card from Doreen Virtue's Angel Answers deck. And that'll be, okay, I guess you guys get two. That will be at the end. We'll pull one of those. So if there's something that you don't get answered during the reading, we'll pull one of those for you as well. So let's see how well you guys can see those. I have also prayed over and shuffled my Sabilas. So if we need any clarifiers, we will pull those as well. Okay, looks like you guys can see those. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's gonna be in store for everyone. We're doing two situations. First one, reading across the top, we have two of winter, don't hate, meditate, speak, and generosity. Now, let's see here. So this first card here, so we have two of winter. At the bottom it says, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So you've got a young boy sitting there. He's actually standing between two instruments and he's trying to make the choice between the two. In the traditional tarot, this would be the two of sword swords card. Now in this deck, it, it's two instruments that he's standing between. So although they both will play music, it's actually him trying to decide which one will make his heart sing, which one will make him happy, and which one will bring him joy. Because although they'll both work, they're both really not, one is better than the other. Now, okay. So there's a number of you that are actually trying to make a decision right now. And they're trying to get you to take some action because they're saying that a number of you have just been stuck in this place of indecision. You've not been doing anything and it's been holding you back. And they're saying for a number of you, it's been holding you back in a number of areas of your life. So let's say this is love related. Maybe you're trying to decide between two people or you're trying to decide, okay, do I stay or do I go? Some of you are actually trying to decide whether you should start a new relationship or remain single, but you're just stuck. And because it's such an emotionally taxing decision, it, it's affecting you in all other areas of life. So for some of you, it's, it's affecting your work life. You know, your work is suffering. Um, for some of you, your health is suffering because you're not making a decision. It is a challenging decision that you've been trying to make, but the angels, God, they've been really trying to guide you. They've been giving you a lot of signs, a lot of, a lot of synchronicities, a lot of epiphanies, trying to help you make the perfect choice for you. And some of you, this is a decision where you're trying to decide what's best for you or what's best for a group. But they're saying those of you that are trying to make a decision, you already know, you already have the clarity. Some of you, they're saying that you've actually been overthinking and, and you've been creating more problems in your head. They're saying that you, you have all the information that you need to make a decision with confidence and also making a decision for what's best for you, not compromising your needs for the needs of others and not allowing things from the past to keep you from reaching the things that you desire, the things that would make your heart sing. Now, for some of you, they're saying like you've been ignoring the situation and hopes that it'll go away. It's not going away. You're, you're going to have to do something. Um, if you look here, this instrument's all illuminated. And this instrument is just kind of like in the background. But he's kind of got his hands folded in front of him, kind of like he's torn. He wants to go for the one that, you know, okay, I feel that that's, that's magical. It's illuminated. It's got all this glitter and stars all around it. You know, but he's... It's almost like some of you are afraid you're going to take the, a, a wrong step, a misstep, and, and feeling bad about yourselves for doing what's right for you. Okay, so for some of you, this does involve a group of people. So for some of you, it's leaving a group of friends. It could be leaving a workplace. For some of you, it's, it's leaving a lover that's tied to a group of people. So maybe you really got in, you know invested in their family. For some of you, invested in their business. But you, you, you're... But that's not what's best for you. What's best for you is to leave that person, to leave that group, to move forward. And, and you know that. But they're saying for some of you, you've sacrificed your own desires for so long that this is the time to start taking care of your needs. Because they're saying for some of you that, that are in this situation, so say it's, um, you know, a love interest or that maybe you're tied to the family. It's not been a a positive relationship in a very long time. It's not been a, a positive environment for a very long time. You've, you've sacrificed yourself for months, for years for some of you, and, and it's not getting better. No matter how much you give, 
It's just, it's never going to get better. It's, um, for some, it's a karmic lesson, but you've kept yourself stuck in misery for fear of not wanting to um, upset the apple cart, hurt that person, hurt their family, hurt friends. For some of you, it's a very small number that might be work-related that you don't want to put people in a bad situation. But because of that, you've put yourself in a bad situation for, for, for a number of you for years. But it's time to, to listen to that intuition. Now, let me, I'm gonna pull from the Rider weight so you guys can see what the traditional Rider weight card looks like. Because it's a figure that's holding two swords and they're blindfolded. Ah, here it is. Okay. Okay. So this card in the traditional Rider weight tarot deck is right here. And you can see the figure is blindfolded. He's trying to make the decision between two things and he's and he's totally stuck and it's an emotional decision because the water represents emotions um, So for some of you you're not wanting to do that some of you you've closed off your hearts Actually for some of you. This is a, this is a love thing So for some of you, maybe it's a new love interest looking to move forward with a, a new love partner But you're afraid to open up emotionally because you have been hurt in the past for some of you It's trying to decide to go with someone new and leaving someone else behind again for most of you, you're trying to decide between two things. For a small number of you, it's because of past hurts and things that have caused you to close off your heart. You have a new love interest, but you're not opening up to that person because you're fearful that they're going to hurt you like someone else has in the past. So you're trying to decide between, okay, do I remain single or do, do I open up to that person, to this, this divine love? So for some of you, it's a divine love connection. But for everyone in this situation, you're you're having to make a choice between two things and they're trying to push you to make a choice to move forward because for those of you in this situation you, you're really stuck in a miserable place that really for most of you is affecting you and, and it's affecting a number of you it, it's affecting your health it could be something you know sadness depression to some of you it's actually physically making you sick so they're trying to help you help you so they're encouraging you to stop overanalyzing, stop overthinking, and, and to move forward. Now, if you need some more signs, because they're saying that um, most of you in this situation, they've already bombarded you with so many signs and synchronicities that you know the choice and the decision that you need to make. Um, you just haven't been doing it. And some of you haven't been doing it because you don't want to feel emotions. You don't want to, you don't want to feel those things. So you've just ignored it, not wanted to deal with it. But it's making it hard on you, and for some of you, it's making it hard on everyone else. And for some of you, it's causing a lot of anger. So we have this card, don't hate, meditate. And at the bottom, it says, thank you angels for guiding me to love through meditation. So for some of you, you are so frustrated with this decision, this choice that you're having to make that you've actually become overcome with anger. For a number of you, this is tied to love, having to let someone go. It's been a rough past with that person. There's been a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of um, deceit turmoil, lies, that's made it really an ugly situation. And so for some of you, you're, you are experiencing a lot of hate toward that person. So they're trying to, to bring you back to a place of love and a place of peace, but that will come through making that decision, letting that person go, that situation go that's not serving you, that is bringing up these turbulent emotions and these feelings that aren't serving you, that are not helping you. And for many of you, this is, this is love related. You have this pink angel of love here and she's got her hands over her heart. And so for some of you, what they're saying is, so for some of you that have a potential new love interest, you're trying to decide, do I stay single? Do I move forward with that person? You see how her, her wings are up and around her and protecting her? So because some of you had a very tough lesson in love with someone in the past, you've closed off your heart. So you've got this wall around you because there's still some anger and sadness and loss and, and feelings of not feeling worthy because of a person you've been with in the past. So because of that, you're not allowing this new love to come in. But they're trying to free you from that. And so for some of you that are, you know, you're not into meditating. <laughs> you know, for me, meditation is, you know, I pray at night and then I just quiet my mind and I ask, okay, God, Jesus, you know, angels, what do you want me to know today? And then they talk, but they talk all day long. <laughs> but, um, th but then they, they talk to me. Um, it, it could be a meditation as simple as that, as, you know, sit down and pray. You know, I need help with this. I need to help. I need help letting this anger go. I need help letting these feelings go that make me feel inadequate, unworthy. For some of you, you feel because you were hurt so bad in love by someone, it's almost like a hatred and anger toward love, toward relationship, toward opening yourself up. But that's the place where we find happiness. And we have to open ourselves to that in order to be able to experience it. So maybe it's, it's praying asking, okay, help me remove these things that are keeping me from opening my heart up, from letting the walls down, from letting love in, which is letting joy in. 
because love's not just for someone else. Now, for most of you in this situation, it is a love, a love interest, a, a divine love that's coming in. But love is everything. Love is loving your neighbors, loving the people that you work with, loving life. Because when you have so much anger inside that could be stemmed because rightfully someone did you wrong in a relationship, maybe they cheated on you, maybe they stole from you. That's gonna cause some anger. It's gonna make you mad, real mad. But what you find is that that makes all other areas of your life a little more difficult and challenging. So you notice things just aren't going really well at work and you're just, you know, not getting a raise. What's well, because energetically you're in this place of anger and hatred and it's the opposite of love. But if you can let those walls down and be open to love, compassion, compassion toward yourself and toward others. And for a number of you, this is going to lead to the love of a lifetime, but you have to let those walls down you will then find that all areas of life will improve. Now you guys, when I went to lay a card down, there were two stuck together. So you guys get two. The first one you have is speak your truth. And it has St. Bernadette on it. And this is a message about really speaking up for yourself, letting go of your fears, your worries, your frustrations, your blocks, letting go, letting God. This is talking about speaking to yourself in an honest way, like, Owning your feelings, owning the things that you want, owning what is it that I desire. For some of you, letting yourself feel emotions. Some of you are totally closed off from your emotions and it's, it's making all areas of life um, more challenging. It's causing a lot of, uh, they're, like they're saying a lot of boulders, a lot of blocks. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. Be honest with yourself. Be honest about things that didn't go well, things that did go well, things that helped you learn, helped you grow. Be honest with yourself about the things that you desire. For some of you, it's also communicating with those around you. So for some of you that have to let someone go, communicate that with them, finally end that, if that's a decision that you're having to make. And for those of you, if it's, an, it's a new person, they're seen to communicate. Things aren't as bad as they seem. So a lot of you, um, the swords, is it's a suit of cards that talks about, you know, our thoughts, things in our head. Many of you are thinking things are gonna be worse than what they really will be. So like you're thinking, oh my gosh, if I have this conversation, it's gonna be a total train wreck and disaster. It, it, it won't be. For some of you that have a new potential interest and you're trying to decide to stay single or move forward, you're afraid they won't accept you because of the things that have occurred in the past or, or things that you believe um, make you unworthy. But those are just things that you've made up in your head. So speak, communicate, pray, ask God and the angels for help. And um, Archangel Gabriel, when you're getting ready to have those conversations, ask that um, she come and help you because she's the angel of communications. So she can help you with those conversations. And if it's going to be a difficult conversation, maybe it's having to finally let someone go who did you wrong, ask Archangel Michael to come and help you because he is the angel of strength. So if you have him giving you the strength and the courage to step in your power and speak up for the things that, that you desire that you want, because for some of you having to let someone go or some people go, it's really, it's not been a good situation for you and them for a very long time. But because you've invested so much in it, um, you're having a hard time speaking up and letting them go, letting that person go. Archangel Michael will help you have the courage to have that conversation or conversations for some of you. Now, the next card we have is Generosity with St. Nicholas. Typically, this is a card that speaks, you know, St. Nicholas, he was, he was very giving, very considerate. You know, what we, when we give to others from a place of love, we receive. But they're saying what this is talking about is for you to start being generous with yourself. Because for a number of you, they're saying that you have been very generous with this person or these people. You've given, for some of you, everything that you had, money, time, effort, emotions you, you invested tremendously so for a number of you you know you've invested in this relationship and it just didn't work for some of you invested in business invested in friends work but for most of you it's, it's focused on love but you you've invested tremendously you've given everything so for some of you you're afraid that if you leave this person leave these people you um you're worried about financial concerns they're saying to not worry about that you'll be provided for you'll be taken care of and they're saying for some of you, you need to start giving to yourself and also give to, give to people who appreciate it. So they're saying for some of you, you've given to this person and you've given everything that you have and, and it's not been appreciated and, and everything was one-sided. It, it was nothing, nothing was given in return, which has now left you in this state of sadness and uncertainty. He just, he just does not know what to do. Actually, no, they're saying he knows what to, okay. They're saying he knows what to do. He just needs to do it. Time to start caring for yourself, speaking up for yourself, taking care of yourself, taking care of your needs. Because the, the scale has been off for, t for too long for those of you in that situation. <laughs> okay, so I want to pull one clarifier on the two of winter. 
and we have Datore. And this is, you know, it, it's a card that talks about, you know, really it's, it's a professional doctor, but it's a professional. It's anyone that can help you. It can be an accountant. It could be a financial advisor, could be an attorney, it could be a physician. So some of you are making yourself sick with trying to make this decision. You know, they were saying earlier, it's affecting your health. In order for your health to improve, in order for things to progress, you're gonna to have to make a decision and take some action. Now for others of you, you're trying to separate from someone. So for some of you, they're saying for some of you, you're not even married to the person. So for some of you, you are married. But they're saying for some of you, you're not even married, but you've been in this, this, um, this long-term relationship commitment with this partner that you have entangled yourself financially with them. So you're needing some assistance legally. You're needing assistance from a financial advisor in order to separate yourself from this person. Um, and for some of you, their their family's involved. For some of you, it's like a, a state. So they're saying for like some of you, maybe they're... So maybe you were married and, you know, his his mother passed away and, and left some something from the estate. But now you're divorcing or now you're splitting up and going separate ways and now you're having to fight for what's what's rightfully yours. But but you need some, le some assistance, some legal assistance. So if you don't have the assistance yet, and for those of you in this situation, it would behoove you to do that because that's going to help you. It's going to make things a little bit easier because the um, nice thing about attorneys is they take the stress off of your, off of your plate and they deal with it. Granted, um, you have to uh, pay them, <laughs> give them some money, but some of them will negotiate fees with you. So, some of you are needing some professional assistance, separating yourselves, and some of you do have that already. Um, they're saying for some of you, actually, the professionals have given you advice, but you still aren't pulling the trigger. You're still not making a decision. Now, as far as the don't hate, meditate, I wanted to get a little more information is that what's, what's this hate all about? You know, what's going on with all of that? And three cards you have are Amalado, Fortuna, and Il Lardro. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. Well, and just the cards with their true meaning. You know, this is the, the sick person, health problems, health conditions. This is luck, something positive, something that's been unexpected that came in. And then you have here the thief having things stolen from you. Okay, so you had this relationship with someone and had not been a good relationship for a very long time. It was a sick relationship. It affected your health, affected theirs, but, but they're saying it was, it was a bad relationship for some of you for a very, very long time. But then something came in unexpectedly and you know cornucopias that's like you know your harvest you know you invest you know farmers go out and they plant all these seeds and then in the fall they go out and they reap their harvest they they bring all the plants in and, you know fill the cornucopia so you had been investing all your money all your efforts everything into the relationship with this person and and it wasn't going well it had not been going well for a very long time so then god and the divine just came in and said okay enough's enough because they're saying for some of you you know you have got you've got this wheel here and the wheel is you know things are divinely led, karma, trying to move things forward. So they're saying for a number of you, you had this relationship. So let's say your guy had the relationship with this woman and it, it, for years and years, because they're saying for some of you, this drug on for years, it just was really bad and really ugly, hurtful, cruel. And there were some mean cruel words said, but this went on for so long, they were trying to get you to separate from her. And we're just gonna go, the genders can be turned around, just going off what's in the car. We got a boy here, got a man, got a woman. So you can flip it if this sounds like it's your situation, flip the sexes. But he, he's with this woman for, for years. Things are not going well. It's a very destructive relationship, making them both sick, but really making him sick and not going well. So then Divine stepped in in order to move things forward. So you've been investing everything that you had and Divine just dumped it all out. It's over, it's done because this wasn't meant for you. That person's not meant for you. It was simply a karmic lesson. So they took her away. They took him away to get you moving forward, to get you out of this cycle, to help you simply learn that lesson so you could move on. But you've been looking at it as though someone stole something from you. Like, okay, I invested all my time and effort money into this person. Now that was, that was stolen from me. But it wasn't, it was actually a blessing. So the same for some of you, you need to shift your perspective and not be afraid to make a decision. And they're saying, if you need more signs, ask for more signs. They'll be happy to oblige. So I like to encourage people when they try to need signs, get in the car, take a drive and just, you know, pray and ask the angels, you know, throw out your question. Should I do this? Please give me a physical sign. 
and, and they will give you a sign. Rest assured, just make sure you're getting information from the right people. I always ask God, Jesus, and Archangel Michael to protect me because you don't want interference. You don't want information coming through from those on the other side that are not watching out for your highest good. So make sure you clarify who's going to be communicating with you. Make sure you ask for protection and then ask them to give you signs and they'll bombard you with them. Okay, situation two we have is the chariot. And at the bottom, it says, success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. And then we have new beginnings and then believe. Now, the chariot. So, some of you have been, uh, have been stuck, they're saying. So for some of you, you've been, you've been putting a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to get an area of your life moving forward. For some of you, it's career. For some, it's love. But you've been putting a lot of work, a lot of effort. And they're saying for some of you, it's actually been multiple things at one time. So it could be family, could be friends, could be work, could be love. But it's been a lot of things at one time that you've just been working really hard. You've been balancing a lot of things. But you're starting to have a hard time staying balanced and trying to stay strong trying to persevere and get through this because they're saying for some of you there's a number of areas in your life that there's going to be changes and it's going to be multiple areas shifting and changing at one point so not just one new beginning but numerous new beginnings and for a number of you you know that seven is the number that talks about this is your path this is where you're divinely meant to be going so a lot of you you know you've been getting signs and you know okay this is what's going to happen this is where things are going. So you've been working on trying to change careers. You've been working on trying to shift that. For some of you, working on trying to start your business. For some of you, working in, in love, trying to get this, this new love moving forward. Some of you trying to start a family. But it's more than one new beginning. It's, it's a lot of things at one time. But you're starting to get tired. You're starting to get worn down. You're starting to give up. You're starting to lose hope. And lose faith because you keep trying and they are saying that you've done great work you really have you've put it in and you've planted the seeds but things haven't moved forward and, and you don't feel like you've accomplished anything you just feel stuck but they want you to know that you have accomplished things that things are now going to start moving forward and they're now going to start moving forward very rapidly it's gonna be very swift very quick if they're saying for some of you, you're gonna to have to hold on it's gonna be so fast and rapid but it's not lose faith not lose hope Things are coming unstuck. And for most of you, this is an area of emotional happiness. But it is, it's, it's, it's multiple areas. So it's not just one new beginning, it's numerous. At the bottom of this card, it says, thank you angels for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. So this is a card that speaks of, you know, a new opportunity coming your way and that the angels are helping you. They're helping you walk through this door, walk through into this new beginning. And for some of you, you, you've known that this new beginning was coming. You've been trying to make this new beginning happen. You've been working really hard, very diligently. Don't give up. You're about to step over that threshold. It's going to be very prosperous, very successful. It is divinely guided. So for many of you, this is, this is spiritually rooted. So it's something that you're divinely meant to do, a place you're divinely meant to be. And they're saying you know that. But your last card is believe. Believe that things are going to move forward. Believe that things have been healed, that things have been prepared. Because for some of you, you felt stuck for so long. You have, actually it's interesting. Okay. So for some of you, the last two weeks where they've been saying to not give up, <laughs> this, is a, this is applying to you as well. It's about to happen. You notice it's when we're at the 11th hour that we're just like, oh my gosh, I've been trying for so long and this is just, I'm drained. I'm drained. I'm out of energy. I'm out of caring. It's, it's all gone. Tried for so long. It's gone. It's apparently not going to happen. They're saying, don't give up. Don't give up. Have faith. Um, see how there's like this glow around her head and she's got this cross. Those of you in this situation, it is divinely guided. So for some of you, it's a divine love. For some of you, um, it's a spiritual path, spiritual career, spiritual work that you're going to be doing. It is about to happen. You are ready. You are prepared. You can do this. Um, you've had to overcome a lot of obstacles. And you're there. They're just saying, um, they're saying in these final hours, these final days, don't get frustrated because it's divine timing at play. You've done everything you need to do. All you need to do now is be patient and let them take care of everything else at this point. 
And so for those of, those of you that aren't familiar, St. Hildegard, um, she was a saint. She would get these visions when she was a child and she would, um, she was really afraid to share her visions and people were telling her that, you know, she should write books and, and, and get the information out there. And she was, she was afraid to do that, afraid of persecution, but she did end up finally writing books. And um, she started writing about, you know, these visions, these things that she would get from the other side to help people heal. But she had to have a lot of faith and a lot of belief that, okay, I can share this. I can get this out there and I won't be persecuted. My family won't. This is going to help people and, and just have faith that, okay, what I'm getting from the other side is true. This is true. And it ultimately did help, help people. It brought a lot of physical healing to people worldwide. So they're saying believe, don't give up. And they're really saying it's really a big thing of, of faith and patience and believing because right now, those of you that are in this situation, you've done everything that you need to do. You really have. At this point, you're simply waiting while God, the angels, divine, while they take care of the last steps. It is divine timing. There are other things at play. So for those of you in this situation, you know, if you're starting your own practice, you're starting your own business, you're making a complete career change, maybe you're waiting on divine love, some of you getting ready to start a family, it's, these are big things. Um, they're monumental and it's numerous things at one time. Okay, so as you can imagine, there are other factors at play. <laughs> so they're taking care of the other things, getting all of those things aligned. Um, there's nothing you need to do except for be faithful, stay optimistic, stay in a place of faith, and they're saying peace, and let them take care of these last things in the final hours. Okay. <laughs> It's funny, weren't they saying it was a lot of women the past two weeks that were giving up? We've got women showing up again. Okay, so the first card we have is Donna Mary Tata. And this is, you know, the married woman. Um, if, if this was in a love, you know, relationship, this would be talking about a man being interested in a woman who is a maternal woman. Um, she's a mother of a family. Um, it's also a card that talks of, of, of someone being a very maternal she may, so for some, this could be talking about a woman who has children, could be a woman who's just very maternal. So Piri, and this is longings, desires, um, regrets, nostalgia, thinking back on the past, reminiscing, longing. And then we have Belvedere. And this is lookout, you know, ambitions, foresight, looking ahead, planning, Okay. So for many of you, this is something related to love. Starting a family, wanting to start a family. And they're saying for some of you, you found the person to start your family. So for some of you, this is love related. Okay, so you found this love interest. For some of you, it could be divine love. You found that person that you'd like to build a foundation with, a future with, a family with. But you kept waiting for your ship to come in. Um, keep longing, hoping. And for some of you, it's gotten you into a state of sadness, a state of depression, and it gets you into a place of being stuck. You know, people in situation number one, they're, they're so distraught about this situation and this decision that they need to make that it's making everything else lackluster. For those of you in situation two, it's the same thing. You've been so hung up and stuck on this person from the past that everything else in life is kind of lackluster and you're, and you're losing faith, you're losing hope. Don't do that because your ship is about to come in. So instead, they're encouraging you to shift your perspective. She's, look, she's looking to the past, she's looking to the future. Shift your perspective. Believe, have faith that the things that you desire, that you want, they are coming in, because they are. You just need to let go and let God at this point. Okay. So we are gonna pull one answer, angel answer card for both situations. So if um, situation one really resonates with you, go ahead and think of a question. Do you have a question in your mind? Da, 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 da. Ah. <laughs> Look for a sign. So for those of you that have this big decision to make, just ask for a sign, take a drive. When you get that sign, take some action. And let me hold this up close because there might be something in the graphics that'll be a message for some of you. Okay. If situation two resonated with you, go on ahead and think of a question. Don't stop. Didn't 
this card show up last time we pulled an Angel Answer card? Like two or three weeks ago? <laughs> I like that they're consistent. So hopefully that helps everyone filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.